The charges are horrific. A six-year-old allegedly buried alive by her father. And we're learning more tonight about a startling abuse case in Waynesburg. Erica Stanish is live with the latest from police. Erica. Yeah, according to paperwork, the child's father, John Kraft, would bury his daughter in a hole outside when he thought that she was lying to him. He's now behind bars with the DA promising that he will be prosecuted, prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. This is a barbaric situation. Uh, and my office will not tolerate child abuse in this county. A Green County man behind bars facing child abuse charges after police say he assaulted his six-year-old daughter. According to a criminal complaint, the victim stated to a CYS worker that her father, 50-year-old John Kraft, would hit her with his hands, belt, and arm, which had a metal plate inside. Her older brother also reporting to CYS, he witnessed Kraft bury his sister in the yard on one occasion, leaving her outside in the freezer cold all night. The allegations are that this child was beaten brutally, that the child had bruises all over her body, that she was choked and to the point that she had passed out. She was buried in a hole uh, as punishment. Uh, she was thrown in a hole overnight. Um, her head was slammed off the wall and slammed off the floor. Paperwork says the child reported to CYS Kraft did this as punishment when he thought she was lying. Police say the child's stepmother intervened at least once when Kraft was assaulting the six-year-old and gave her a bath one night after she was buried alive. The district attorney calling it one of the worst child abuse cases he's seen. We will not tolerate it in our county, and this individual will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. You know, our children deserve better than this. Now, Kraft is facing several charges tonight, including endangering the welfare of children, and, uh, aggravated assault, and strangulation. Now, he's in the Greene County Prison tonight, and he has a preliminary hearing scheduled for November 7th. Reporting live in Waynesburg, Erica Stanish, KDK News.